All right, yeah, so I have not seen this. I did play Fallout 76. Okay. You're making me ovulate, homie. Yo, chill, Yumsy. Chill. Okay. I have not seen this video. I did play Fallout 76 when it came out. I had never played another Fallout game before, so it was my very first experience um, with these games. And I have to say, it was probably one of the worst games I have ever played in my life. I almost got baited into buying that stupid fucking... Um, what, like... There was like this, this beer thing. It was like a container and it looked really cool because it looked like it was like steam, like, like just, uh, just looked like a really cool thing, but they wanted like $70 for it. So yeah, new Coca-Cola, whatever it's called. Yeah, it looked really cool. And I was super hyped for this. And I remember playing this in voice, I think with, with my buddy Avran and Note. Um, I think we tried this together. I think it was them that I played this with. Um, and it was just so buggy and shitty on release that we just, we stopped and we tried to get a refund for it. It was just a really bad, so. Bethesda ruins. Oh, Jesus. If you found this tape, it means that everyone is dead or working at a different office. How did this happen? Well, I'll tell you. Buckle up, buckaroos. Today's lesson is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. June 2018. Was it that long ago? Holy shit. It began with everyone getting just a little hyped up. Have we waited long enough, guys? I was oh, really hyped God. for this game. Yes, we have. I had never played a Fallout game before. I was like, this is my... My brother was like, you're going to love it. It's going to be fucking amazing. It's going to be great. I was like... Pod. I think we have. Fallout 76, Bethesda's biggest game yet. My God, it was exciting. And they promised we'd know more at E3. E3 hype time. The press conference. 16 times the detail. 16 times the detail. <laughs> he put it in like... Okay. 16 times the detail. 16 times. <laughs> it's in like 140p, bro. It's the little things. It's the little things that he does to just get me up. It's so good. All new rendering, lighting, and landscape technology. I remember what I watched all of this. I was so hype over this game. Four times the map size. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. And it's our biggest one yet. My God. Well, I was playing like I, 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 like I was like open world check. I had played Elder Scrolls. Um, um, like already, like I was like, oh God, that sounds amazing. You know what I mean? And like nuclear fallout game, MMO, like it hit, it's hitting all my, all my biggest things like SWOTOR, but good. It was exciting. November 14th, 2018, the game goes live with a day one patch of 50 gigabytes. Yeah, whatever. For fuck's sake. I'll see you I didn't tomorrow. Care. But once that's downloaded, people start logging into the hellscape that is Fallout 76. This is a POV of my screen when I spawned in. I'm not even joking. And oh dear lord, they never fix the bugs. Um. And there are so many of them. Goodbye world, goodbye necks, goodbye body, goodbye heads, bugs, bugs. This was literally, yes, dude, we experienced all bugs of this. Everywhere. Server crashes, game crashes, ah. old bugs imported from Fallout 4. Use more than one nuke at a time, uh. server's dead. Texture's far too texturous, an all-consuming void. Airlock 307. Can't pick up stuff, can't stop asserting dominance with a T-pose. Frame rate problems, screen tear problems, getting too swole, getting underneath the map, getting attacked by invisible enemies, spawning too many. I had all of these things. Every fucking one of these things. Except for... I didn't crash very often. I did crash a few times, but I felt like that was a part of the game. The enemies. It kind of speaks uh, for itself. Spawning too many god rays. Also, your camp resets after every session, and sometimes I, it goes... I fucking hated the camp, because I would build it, and then somebody would come kill it. So fucking... It's such a nightmare. 
Like I would build this whole fucking beautiful fortress and then I sucked at PvP, so I would just die instantly. Is underwater. Holotapes randomly play static, but too many holotapes mean none of them will play. Enemy AI is far more A than I. Animations are broken. Surprise. Floating objects and a traveling merchant. Just to name a few. Joseph Anson has a great video that documents just the ones that he found personally. It's three hours? What the fuck? <laughs> How slowly is he going through the bugs? That video is three hours long. Um, but it gets worse. Error CE348780 can corrupt your data and force you to reinstall the game and console operating system. A few PC players had their computers brick entirely. Also, when the date rolled over to the 1st of January 2019, um, the nukes in the game stopped working altogether. No one thought it prudent to program in other years in an always online game. <laughs> Boy, they really thought of everything. And a few players were straight up logging into other people's accounts. This guy had what? a level 78 character that was randomly replaced with a level 8 character. Oh, there would be riots in the street. Bro, fucking imagine logging into your BDO account one day. And it's a fucking, it's just like a level 15. Like Cade Games has overwritten your level 66 fucking character. There would be riots in the fucking street. Ain't no way. Bethesda said they couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> what do you mean you can't do anything about it? You're the developers. You can change it all. Like, you're God in this universe. And many players are not thrilled with this game, and they want Holy Bethesda shit. to know that. And they want everyone else to know that too. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes, it is. Banned for racism. Thread <laughs> Banned for racism, bro. <laughs> Get him the fuck out of here, bro. Holy shit. It <laughs> just... Oh my god. Locked. They had no direct outlet for their rage. The only solution was to put it. I never looked this far into it. I'll be honest with you. I just felt like the game didn't feel like fun. Like there were a lot of bugs with it, but I was willing to play through that if it felt fun. It did not feel fun. It didn't feel like there was very much stuff to interact with in the world. It did feel like when I went to go build a base, it, it, it just completely fell apart and I was killed and then I couldn't do anything. Uh, or that the, the enemy base was unsiegeable. And I don't know. I just could, I couldn't get inv invested into it. Torch to everything else. I just stopped. Reddit. Twitter, Bethesda's other games on Steam. <laughs> the backlash was immense, but surely level heads would prevail. This is Overwatch nowadays, boys. This is the Overwatch of 20, Overwatch 2 of 2018. The reviewers would come out and say that the game isn't so bad. Oh dear lord, they hate it. <laughs> This is so sad. Despacito, play Country Roads. Oh no. Almost heaven, <laughs> West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. I just want to point out that I was promised that like the West Virginia, this West Virginia song, okay? This is like iconic in the Fallout series. And I was so ready to like look out at like the nuclear holocaust landscape and like play that song in the background as I went. And I never got to do that. And the YouTube community had this to say. It's really fucking boring. It is. Barely Thank you. Thank you. That's what I, I just couldn't, bro. I just couldn't get into it, man. It's just so boring. There's nothing to do. Bring myself to play it in order to finish this review. No one on staff wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not going to subject myself to another 20, 30 hours of this fucking mess. In short, Fallout 76 is morally, technically, and creatively bankrupt. The mods on Bethesda forums were working overtime. The mods on Reddit almost gave up. Look, I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have... Reddit mods don't ever give up. It's all about power to them. ...fun with this game. But what I am saying is that the Metacritic was really funny to read. 
So what happened? I like that he Where had a fedora on him. Development was hugely rushed. The deadlines were tight, too tight. Plus, this wasn't Bethesda's A-Team. It's actually a relatively inexperienced division based in Austin, and the scope of the game kept getting bigger. We're gonna need distant weather systems. Hey, Todd, I stayed up all night and I just We're finished. We're gonna the need 16 times the detail. Please, Todd, no more. We're gonna need four times the size of Fallout 4. This is exactly how I expect Jay. Okay. So the Calpheon ball years ago. So like you guys wouldn't know if you just started playing BDO recently, but like back in the day, like six, five, five years ago or so, when Jay would get up on stream, it didn't feel like he was floating ideas out there that were like discussed in the office. It felt like he would get up on stage and he would just float ideas into the audience and just see if they, they, they would float. You know what I mean? To see how the reaction. And then like, I felt like the developers themselves were watching going, they have to do what? Like they they had to watch the Calpheon ball to see what Jay was gonna tell him to do next kind of thing. Like it was fucking crazy. Like the zero development had been done on this project. Jay was just floating it out there like it was still in brainstorming phase. And the developer, I felt so bad for the devs because they were just like, we have to do fucking what? <laughs> he promised we can't fix, like perfect example. We're going to have the great or Margori expansion and there's going to be two of them. There's going to be deep sea diving. There's going to be a boat PVP, like blue battlefield. And meanwhile, the developers are like, we can't fix blue battlefield. We can't fix the boat. Jay, we, there is no, there is no solution. <laughs> that and they were trying to patchwork the old Bethesda creation engine into a multiplayer framework. Climbing, yeah, that's a good what one. What else could you expect? That's why I give my kids Fallout 76. The fool. <laughs> now, Bethesda oh could tolerate God. the bugs and the bad reviews and the irate players, but what they couldn't tolerate were the- Bro, she's going to like the fucking ICU, bro. Exploits. Um, infinite inventory, infinite invisibility. The frame rate was tied to the game speed, so people were going a lot faster than they should. Server hopping for more items, infinite cash, and infinite I do remember this. People are exploiting the shit out of the game. Unlimited nuking. The nuclear codes were unencrypted, and you could wall clip into the quest room. And someone was given the curse of infinite invincibility. Naturally, this can really mess with other players' online experience. So Bethesda was ready with the ban hammer. This just works. And a blindfold to wildly flail around and take down anyone who happened by. But Bethesda wasn't satisfied with that felt like cacao. Back when Cacao used to ban people. Just banning people. No, they're a progressive company with big ideas. They wanted to give a road to redemption. So support sent out this email to players caught cheating. We would be willing to accept an essay on why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game community. That's right. 500 words on why you're a very naughty boy and- Fucking what? If I sent in a fucking ticket to Pearl Abyss about people fucking harassing me in game and they said, don't worry, Blue, we're going to handle it for you. And then they sent them a fucking 500 word homework assignment. I would be beyond pissed. Holy shit. And they may just give you your account back. But a couple of days later, the mocking from news outlets caused them to reconsider this approach. One more exploit. It all the honestly, it's... Honestly, it's better than them not knowing how to fix the cheating. I've seen companies before that just like did... They just didn't know how they were cheating. And so they're just like... Ah, oh, shit, we can't fix it, bro. We don't we don't know how they're doing it. With Thursday games, there's a dev room. Every item in the game is kept here. The security has to be top-notch because otherwise, someone could just waltz in and take all of the best items of the game and it would be an absolute disaster. Well, shit. Of course, Bethesda wasn't equipped to deal with the issue. People started flooding in, taking the best items in the game, then selling those items on a black market of sorts. At first, they tried the usual approach. Okay, ban them. Yeah. Banning people who had some of the best items in the game. You ban me as good gear. Honestly, just nuke chill. They're done. They must be cheating. Spent 700 hours just to get the best gun. <laughs> Again, there would be riots in the street, man. Like, die, cheater. 
Next, they put in a system where players would get tagged if they ever entered the room, and they banned those players. That wasn't much better because people would just start using Smurf accounts. Get in quick with a level one account. Get all that good shit, then get the fuck out. Then use a duplication glitch to get a ton more of those items. Then transfer that stuff to your main account and you're good to go. What the fuck? Bethesda then takes out this level one and calls it mission accomplished. Oh, shit. Oh, they're really fucking this up, man. It's just, how badly can we get in the game? So the problem continued. Bethesda is running out of ideas to solve it. There's a lot of speculation in the media and among players about how exactly people are getting in, but no one except for the exploiters knows for sure. So they have no idea how to fix it. This is exactly what I was talking about. They have no idea how to fix it. That's the worst kind of exploit is when the developers are like, we, we were working on it. That said, Bethesda needs to act fast before it ruins. Crazy idea, remove the dev room. Well, they need it for certain things. Well, I'm, like, I'm, I'm assuming they need it for certain things to help develop the game. It's the economy of the game. So they wrote another email and sent it out to the Smurfs. <clears throat> uh, hello, Cheetah. No. Do you want to tell us how you did it and we might unban you, please? Should we not hear back from you? The account you mean the level one account that they used to transfer to their main account? Ain't no fucking way. Will simply remain suspended. It's not known whether this approach worked, but from what I've seen. <laughs> oh my god. It's still possible to get into the dev room. November 22nd, 2018. Just a week after the release, the game goes on discount. From 60 to $40. Oh. To 35. Uh oh. To 30. Okay. You can find it for 15 on eBay. And in Germany, they're straight up giving it for free when you buy a PlayStation controller. <laughs> also, some stores are just. You just throw it in the garbage. Zip tying it to other products. <laughs> they're but zip tying it to other products. Please take these. We have too many. <laughs> like. But to Bethesda, it's worth selling the thing at a price close to zero because it brings people into the atomic shop, which is where the real margins are. And it inflates the poor sales figures. Let's have a look at those. The latest figures show 76 or less than a sixth of what Fallout Yikes, is. Yikes, dude. Not good. There's also been a massive oversupply of hard copies. Yeah, because nobody bought hard copies anymore. What is this? 20, like, like, like in 2012, I was not buying hard copies of games anymore. I bought StarCraft 2, the digital, like, I just put in a code, bro. Holy fuck, it actually isn't even a disc. Why the fuck do you even have the box? Why the fuck would you even make hard copies? Although, what's the point of a hard copy when the thing is just a cardboard disc exactly. telling you to redeem an online code? What? And while sales are low, returns are high. Immediately upon release, people oh, began yeah. asking Bethesda for a refund. Oh, yeah. 76 is not on Steam. It's on Bethesda's own platform. Mm -hmm. So they have all the control. If players only played the game for a few hours, then generally they'd get their money back. However, it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play. Quite generous. But then word about this spread to forums. Oh no. Then to Reddit. And of course, got 12 and a half thousand upvotes informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund. And the comments told I tried to get a refund on it. They wouldn't give me a refund, I don't think. Them exactly how to I, it was a long time ago, but I don't think I ever got a refund. Do it. Bethesda was flooded with requests for refunds. And their response? Shut it down, lads. No. No, no one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. Robot customer service man, engage. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. Die. -e 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 a few things followed. First, people got mad. One hardcore gamer even trashed a GameStop for refusing his refund. Uh, people have trashed GameStops for less. Oh shit, bro. Bro, it's like 40 bucks. Literally $40. Brian was not having any of his shit. This dude is in here absolutely destroying his fucking store. Okay. 
Cold stuff. This is Brian here. Can I help you? Like, there's nothing yeah, going on. Brian actually just like, this is a Tuesday. It's fine. I'll clean it up. But probably also fake. Second, the media. And third, a class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent refund policy and terms of service may not be strictly legal. Oh, God. November 27th, 2018. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know how much I would be willing to sue over a $40 video game. It's just too much work, man. It's just too much work. I can't. McGlashio and Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of customers. Media quickly picked up on that. Class action here for a reason. True. Their main argument is that it's a sometimes unplayable game owing to its technical problems. Then they're refusing refunds and that Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway and then slowly patch their way into a more playable state. Updates on this lawsuit are slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Let's rewind a little bit. Fallout fans made their pre-orders. The Duffel Kershuffle. I almost forgot about the Duffel. I almost forgot. I almost bought the duffel because I almost bought like the deluxe, like the deluxe edition when I got it. I almost got the duffel. And the most dedicated pre-ordered the power armor. Yes. Wow. I loved like the merch that you could get with pre-orders and stuff because in StarCraft 2, I still have the boxes and stuff for like pre-ordering those games, like the collector's edition. You got like super cool, like fucking, like, like, like you know, just like merchandise for the game. You know what I mean? It's just like really cool. And like get, companies don't really sell that kind of stuff. So you kind of have to get up with the pre-order stuff. I almost did it for fall. Oh. It came with a helmet, yeah. box, map, army toys, and a genuine West Tech canvas bag. Fast forward to the release. And customers notice that their precious bags, which are supposed to be made of the finest canvas and land, Ooh, yummy. look a bit different. Bruh. In fact, it's not even canvas. <laughs> I know canvas. That ain't canvas. That's not canvas. It looks like a carry bag, the real bag should come in. Bruh. Do they really just advertise one thing and deliver another? You can't do that. So there was a surge of backlash. And That's not true. Bungie does that every time they drop an expansion. People began emailing Bethesda, asking for refunds, Bruh. asking for answers. By this point, customer service is absolutely over it. They are done with the facade, and they send this email in response. Hello. We are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything. This guy is done. This guy just said, fuck it, reply to all. Done. Bruh. <laughs> We're not doing shit. Deal with it. I'm done. Holy shit. This is the worst customer service line I have ever seen in my entire life. Who did about it? That's the whole email. Staff at Bethesda aren't even hiding their contempt anymore. Naturally, the internet goes wild. Oh Are you God. fucking kidding me? Wow. Wow. Well, I got so mad. Well, wait, where did the cola thing come from? Shaved everything off my face. I did that too. Wow. Well, I got so mad. I shaved everything off my face. You missed a couple spots, man. Nice. Okay, guys, this is a bit of a PR nightmare. We have to quell the outrage. What do we do? Just well, tell them you're working on it and then come out uh, three years later. We've got this in-game currency. Let's just give them the minimum amount of that. 
Fantastic idea. Hear ye, hear ye. Anyone who paid two to three hundred dollars for the Power Armor Edition is hereby entitled to five dollars worth of in-game currency. Whee! That you'll be able to spend with us. Five hundred atoms? Fuck yeah! What are you gonna do with your atoms? I'm gonna buy five eighteenths of the white paint version. Five eighteenths! Another power armor. Whoa! What about you? Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. <gasps> Fuck the bag. He's right. Fuck the bag. Light wood laminate. 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 Of course, this was Bethesda's fantasy of what would happen. What really happened is further outrage, and even the media started piling on. Almost heaven. Where's Virgin? It even became part of that class action lawsuit from earlier. Bethesda put out a tweet apologizing for their curt customer service and gave a different excuse for why they didn't make the best. Thank you for contacting Bethesda customer support. My name is Nicholas and I'd be happy to help you today. Due to the unavailability of materials. Canvas. That rare material canvas is. We had to switch to a nylon carrying case in Fallout 76 Ar Power Armor Edition. We hope this isn't... Uh, does it prevent anyone from enjoying what we feel is one of our best collector's editions? Nicholas, you did better than the last guy. Bags. Yeah, unobtainium equals canvas. A shortage of material, apparently. That was quickly debunked. Because it turns out they did make the canvas bag. It that looks way different. Except they gave them all out to influencers. Hey, what's wrong with that? That's, yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't know what you mean. That's way fucking worse. Holy shit. I don't know how the fuck they could have made it worse, but they made it way fucking worse, boys. <laughs> now the influencers that are supposed to make your game look good now look bad, and now they're all pissed with you. Oh dear. It's not the same one, of course. But it's it also looks from like that garbage. Never scarce material. Canvas. Canvas. But what's more amusing is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the game. Nah. If you don the postman's outfit, which of course can be found at the atom shop. For seven hundred atoms. Ah oh, just short. Tragic. T Ragic. Ooh, just short. Well, the bleating from the online community continued, and Bethesda's lawyers realized there would be trouble. Yeah. So they decided to capitulate. All right, Let fine. them eat canvas. We'll make your precious fucking bag. If you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your name, personal details, address, etc., etc., and we'll ship out the bag to you in four to six months. Oh my! But it doesn't quite in there. Thank God, dude. Because Bethesda is known for bugs, and of course their website is a buggy mess too. It turns out all of the customer support inquiries are unsecure and open to the public. In fact, people can open and close and change them at will. Listed are details of full legal names, phone numbers, home addresses, and more. If you've requested. This is exactly what my brother does in cybersecurity defense all the time. He looks at this. He doesn't open Bethesda's website and see a web page. He sees a menu. What are we eating today? Maybe about 1,500 home addresses. Requested your canvas bag. You've just been doxxed. <laughs> Not knowing how to immediately fix the problem, Bethesda panics and temporarily shuts down the whole website. Smart. And that is the tale of the duffel kerfuffle. How could this have been so difficult? They made one for New Vegas. Yeah, well, how could that have been that hard, bro? Last like, piece of match. A rum drink. Nuka Cola Da. There it is! Yeah, that's the bottle! Almost got that too, because it looks so cool. Mainly because the cap looked really big. Well, they almost sold me on all this stuff. Thank God the game sucked and they didn't buy any of it. It was available in September. Shipped out on November 14th. $80 plus postage and handling. Not cheap. He threw it but over the return, fence. you got a very cool bootle. Yeah, that's all that I really cared about was the bottle. Looks good on the shelf. A great conversation piece with the family of a Yeah, it would have looked... Look at that. Look how cool that would have looked. Yeah, I honestly take the label off. Like, what the fuck? Wait, that looks like plastic. 
Okay, maybe not that one. I want. Hold on. Good on the show. Not cheap. November fourteenth. I want that one. Like you put this on the, you put this on the on the shelf. It looks great. You know what I mean? Like look at this, the nice little frosted looking. Pre-orders available in September. Shipped out on November fourteenth. Eighty dollars plus post. I never knew what happened to the to the Nuka Cola. I just chose not to buy it. Not cheap. But in return, you got a very cool bootle. Yeah, look how cool that looks. looks. Good on the shelf. A great conversation piece with the family of a thanks. That looks plastic. Giving. And it's got like the fucking label on it and shit. Bro, it looks nasty, dude. Or at least it would have been. November 14th came and went, and there was no rum. No, no one gives a shit about the rum, bro. Uh, Just send me the bottle okay. empty. Who gives a, a shit? A week later on November 21st, an email comes through. There's a delay. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard, they say. They're not even meeting that bar? Damn. This is like James Cameron in the ocean levels of low and we can't even get over the bar. The usual fallout standard. Crisp! Crisp! <laughs> this is what I'm used to for fallout. I'll be honest, this is the only Fallout game I've ever played was Fallout 76, and I never went back. I never played another Fallout game. Mainly because I had such a bad experience with this one. Up to the usual Fallout stand. So we'll have it for you soon. No specific date given. One week later. Nothing. Then on December 5th, another email. Okay. Good news. We start shipping on December 12th. It's been right. nearly three months since you pre-ordered. Fuck it. It's an improvement. Show of good faith. We made this promotional video for you. Oh, good. And this is where things went from tardy to retardy. Right. <laughs> I'm going to start using that. Bro. I'm, I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm <laughs> this just looks like normal glass. Right there. Did you care? Oh no. Oh no. He put a normal glass bottle that said Nuka Cola and he's putting it into a plastic container. Nah, dude. This is a hype video? No, it's a fucking funeral procession. Cash that? That's just a regular industry bottle and a plastic shell. We paid $80 and waited a quarter of a year for a plastic shell. People were not happy. Look at that ratio. Nothing in oh the- Bro, imagine releasing a fucking hype video. And this is the fucking dislike ratio that you get on the fucking video. Dude. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> it's probably the same guy that put out that email that said we're probably- we're just not gonna do- We understand that you are upset about the canvas bag. We will not be doing anything to fix it. Have a nice day. Same guy. Nothing in the marketing said that it was a plastic shell. No. Super premium, we were promised. And the media agreed. Ah, oh, nah. Ah, oh, Jesus. People began canceling their orders. Silver Screen tries to convince people that it's not cheap and shitty. It actually costs us twice as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Just admit it, man. Like they, you're just just digging it. Honestly, they just can't get any. They can't get it any deeper, bro. They they, they just they feel like the hole is not deep enough. Oh my god. Then what the fuck? We we spent a hundred hours coding the design. It says Nuka Cola on a black bottle. Yeah, it's just like I spent a hundred hours on BDO and ninety-eight of it was AFK fishing. Ninety-eight of the hours that they spent on this was spent fapping to hentai. Convincing stuff. So it arrives just a few days before uh. Christmas. The rum is about the quality you'd expect. Oh 
my god. Yeah, no one cares about the rum, though. Can I swear on this? It's my own show. Ah. Worse is the design. The oversized lip means liquid can pour in... <laughs> A hundred hours. It was not up to the fallout standards at a hundred hours. <laughs> and so this is what we came up with. Industry leading innovation. Bethesda Studios. Inside the shell. Hard it to pour because how they made this damn thing. <laughs> Build like half the shot. <laughs> Very dribbly. So you're best off opening. It's not about the fucking rum. Okay, it's about the fucking bottle, and the bottle is also shitty. Oh my god. The whole thing up to prevent spilling. If you do that, there's a good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Any what? liquid will immediately ruin this cheap paper sticker. Some made their own at home. It's a fucking cheap paper sticker? It's not even etched into the plastic? It's just a paper stick. Yeah, you can see it's just paper. Oh, what the fuck is this, dude? You thought that this six extra months. Any liquid will immediately ruin this cheap paper sticker. Some made their own at home and the quality was about on par. <laughs> it's a fucking Coke can with some fucking paper wrapped around it. And then he penciled in with like MS Paint. He just fucking drew. And the quality was about on par. That one actually looks better. If I'm being honest, I'd rather have that one. But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them. They're all that one, those look good. Those look aged and shit like they've been through an apocalypse. On Etsy. They're far cheaper and they actually give a shit. Not gonna lie though, some of the memes that... <laughs> Sweet, my 10 pack of Nuka Dark has just arrived. Oh, Jesus, dude. <laughs> Bro, this, this is so fucking good, man. I wish I had dove more into this when this was happening. That came out of this were pretty good. Now, many claim that this was an honest mistake. Sorry. Or that customers were at fault for misinterpreting ambiguous marketing. No. I disagree. All of the marketing shows other glass. Yeah. Glass items. Yeah. All of the mock-ups show something more akin to frosted glass than plastic. I thought it was frosted glass, too. They give plenty of descriptions of the product too, and not once do they mention plastic. And they were engaged in a bunch of other tomfuckery as well. Before the product was even available, they flooded their own product reviews with a bunch of five stars. This raised some eyebrows. I know where Shaky Bay came from now. Ex Bethesda employee and people on reddit even called them out for it so they deleted them you can see all this activity on the way back machine now if they're happy to deceive people in this way it seems silly to give them the benefit of the doubt about the glass it's also worth quickly talking about the bethesda merch store at least they have a merch store man i've been waiting for a merch store for bdo for years some of these items are pretty neat that's cool good idea I'd have that. Fallout 76 pant. Singular. But why is he... Just one pant. Is that on backwards? Is that a hoodie he's wearing backwards? What the fuck is that? So mad. The photography is all just slightly... <laughs> Real professional models we have here. This is not me. This looks like me, but it is not me. Off. This gaudy jacket was mocked relentlessly on social... <laughs> Corporate wants you to tell us the difference between these two pictures. They're the same picture. It's a fucking tart, bro. Social media. 
But does the 76 in 200... Oh my god! It's 300 fucking dollars, dude! In 76 dollars really make it more immersive. And why did they just toss it on the ground? And because it looks more rustic that way. That is something that I would fucking do because I don't know anything about marketing. Throw it on the fucking ground and make it look all ruffled and shit. That's what the, the kids like that shit. Just rip some holes in it. It'll make them want to buy it more. And it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he did not just describe it as a fucking crumpled up toddler body bag. Yo, chill. Yo, chill out, man. <laughs> Talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch and you don't have an eye on why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. That is true. About it. But who looked at this and said... You know, he's making a good point. Said, good job. Print. Now that's surprising. Not so surprising, sadly. Surprising. And what the fuck? They made the bottle properly. Damn. All right, that is damning. That's that's damning. All right, that's kind of rough. That that's kind of rough. That, never mind the fact that they made the bottle properly and it's only thirty fucking dollars. Ain't no fucking way. The usual Fallout standards. Yeah, one of those, please, but bigger and, and brown. Black. Is yeah. that so hard? Yeah. Let's get back to the game. December 2018. Oh, there are God. two new patches released that caused quite a stir. Okay. First, the good. <laughs> For PC, they included... You gained karma! <laughs> ...number of quality of life improvements, including push to talk. No. No, 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 no. Uh, but it also brought in field of view sliders. Hooray! Increased stash capacity from 400 pounds to 600 pounds and a small buff to automatic weapons. Hooray! <laughs> they decreased the carry weight of bobby pins so it no longer took up 10 to 20 percent of people's inventory. I got a box of bobby pins the other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> <laughs> at least they're good sports about it. At least, at least, at least they're good sports about it. There were also upgrades to the camp that allowed for easier construction and a bunch of bug fixes. Hooray. The bad. A whole bunch of unannounced stealth nerfs. They generally made the game grindier. Ammo production was decreased. Fusion cores burnt out faster. Legendary enemies spawned less frequently. On guard, I'll fuck you up. And the backlash was significant because everybody this reminds me of the one time that Riot Games literally tried to, they, they literally, they just didn't even put it in the patch notes. They just made towers fire two times faster one patch. Didn't say anything, thought no one would notice, tried to just sneak it in. It's actually insane. Nobody knew why Bethesda was doing it. To encourage people to use the atomic shop. And let's talk briefly about that store. Some of the prices are outrageous. 76 a billion. Christmas tree for $12. A Santa outfit for 20 I mean... I... I mean, like... At a certain point, you're like, I don't know, this is, this is $34, you know what I mean? The Santa outfit for 20 is almost a bargain, you know what I mean? Wait, was there an actual Santa outfit in here? Hold on. No, no Santa outfits yet. Blue and yellow paint for $18. Oh look, $3 for the same sweater vest and slacks item imported from Fallout 4. But the biggest offense of all was the holiday emote bundle. $24 for some... Who in the fuck was still playing this game at this point? Who actually still played the fucking game? Christmas themed emotes. Twice the price of these games. The media agreed that these were egregious prices. But worse, they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices. I also... 
Yeah. I also thought that BDO's prices were super outrageous when I started, but over time, as they shoved it down my throat more, I realized that I liked it and that it was fine to spend $65 on a character skin. This is two. Oh look, it's marked down half price. But it's not. It was released half price. They're artificially jacking up the price only to then give it a fake limited time discount in order to create a sense of urgency. That's illegal. Here in Australia at least, in Canada and in the EU. But not in America. That's not illegal in America. Reddit quickly picked up on this and pointed it out. Bethesda reacted by scrapping the discount and just setting it as the always intended price. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes of whining now, so I'm just going to leave it here. I didn't even get a chance to touch on the new pay to win fiasco. The new camera item that lets you There's teleport more? dwindling player numbers. But on the flip side, they're also adding new content and improving the game over time. Heck, No Man's Sky was a surprising comeback. So, maybe Bethesda can do it too. No. But for now, Todd returns to cryostasis. Hiding in his bunker until the bombs of outrage stop falling. And returning only when it's time to get our hopes up once again. Oh my god, this game was a total disaster. Not many people know this, but I'm actually quite a good rap artist. Rapist, if you will. <laughs> no, 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 don't say it like that. Uh, don't, no. So I'm going to say all these names for you from the credits as fast as I possibly can in time with the scrolling. Here we go. One take. He's going to fucking. Just deal. Miles Millican, Justin Rowling, uh, uh, Steve Rizzo, Drudders, Indigo Zero, Luke Hackle, Astatine 210, oh, Jordan Prince, uh, Dr. Tex, Papa Spicy Peter, Tef, Edgy Kid X, Bryce Toiler Ham, no, Nate Odenkirk, but Sonia Waffles, uh, Krabby. If you want to get read by the rapist, then why don't you. Nailed it, buddy. Head over to. <sighs> that was such a good video. Holy shit. I'm so glad that that got recommended to me.